Hi everyone. So in this video, we'll discuss about uh, the types of cancer. Thereafter, we'll discuss about the various of the diagnostic uh, tests which can uh, uh, determine the presence or of a cancer as well as we'll discuss about the treatment of the cancer. So in the previous videos, we had discussed about the types of carcinogens which are known to cause the cancer in which the chemical carcinogens are very commonly being uh, uh, seen where these are the cancers, I mean the chemicals which are known to induce the cancer and apart from that, the biological agents, okay, such as the viruses basically, especially those viruses are known to induce the cancer. For example, where we had discussed about uh, virus 8 is known to cause a cancer called as Kaposi's sarcoma, HBV and HCV that is hepatitis B virus and hepatitis C virus are known to cause liver cancer. Human papilloma virus is known to cause cervical cancer and helicobacter pylori is known to cause gastric carcinoma. So different types of the biological agent are known to induce the cancer to which Peyton Rouse was being given the Nobel Prize. Right. So that is in the previous video. In this video, we will discuss the types of the cancers. So these are the types of cancer based on where they have been originated. So based on the origination of the cancers, we have mainly three different types of the cancers. First one is called as carcinoma, second one is called as sarcoma and third one is called as leukemia. So in the first one carcinoma, carcinoma is a type of cancer which is being derived from the epithelial cells. So here this particular uh, type of a cancer is being widespread around 80 to 85 percent of the cancers which are being reported. So they are because of the carcinoma where the epithelial cells derived cancers are being seen. For example here these uh, include the skin cancers, cervical cancer, brain cancer, thereafter is breast cancer, lung cancer, stomach cancer, oral cancer and even many more. All these cancers comes under the category that is called as carcinoma. Okay, so here for example, we have melanoma. Melanoma is the cancer of melanocyte, which means melanocytes are the cells which imparts the color to that of the skin. So here the melanoma is a cancer of melanocyte, which we can even say as skin cancer. Similarly, we have adenocarcinoma. So here this is uh, the cancer of the glands where the mucus secreting glands whichever are there. So all those are being affected by that of the cancer named as adenocarcinoma. Similarly myoma in some of the references they have mentioned as myoma as a cancer of muscle but generally we consider that myoma is a uh, having the benign tumors and generally benign tumors are non-cancerous. So thereby this myoma cannot be considered as a cancer of muscle where in some of the instances this can happen to be a muscle cancer but not in general. But myoma for example it is being seen in that of the ovaries where the fibroids are being grown. So commonly you might have heard about uh, uh, polycystic ovarian disorder where generally the fibroids or the cysts are being formed in the ovaries. So they are nothing but the benign tumors which can be considered to be a myoma. Right. So this is about uh, the first type of uh, cancer which is we call it as carcinoma. Second one we have is sarcoma. So sarcomas are the cancers which are being derived from the mesodermal derivatives such as it may be a connective tissue or it can be a muscular tissue. 
so in this particular uh, derived mesodermal derived so we call it as sarcoma and this sarcoma includes the cancers of the bones uh, bones cancer or it may be the cartilage cancer tendon cancer adipose tissue cancer thereafter lymphoid cancer muscle cancer all these cancers i mean cancers come under the sarcoma for example osteoma osteoma is what we call it as bone cancer lipoma is the cancer to that of adipose tissue lymphoma is the cancer of the lymphoid tissue thereafter we have a chondrosarcoma that is a cancer to that of the cartilage okay so that is the second category that is sarcoma compared to the severity of carcinoma this is less severe but is also being seen in many number of the people suffering from the cancer third one is what we have leukemia leukemia is commonly called as blood cancer so generally what happens in leukemia is the cancer is being affected to the bone marrow where the bone marrow which is responsible for the production of uh, the blood cells uh, such as rbcs as well as wbcs that is the origin the site of production of these blood cells is bone marrow that bone marrow when it is being affected with that of the cancer that results into the blood cancer so what happens in the blood cancer in the blood cancer the number of the wbcs goes on increasing see for example when we take about the normal number of the wbc it may range from 6000 to 8000 wbcs present per cubic millimeter of the cell that is normal range which can get fluctuated whenever a person suffer from the various of diseases but on an average if we want to consider so it will be around 7000 wbcs per cubic millimeter of the blood right but what happens in blood cancer the number of these wbcs will increase up to 2 lakh wbcs per cubic millimeter of the blood so the number of wbcs when they increase okay so they start suppressing the activity of uh, the rbcs thereby that is what we call as uh, the blood cancer or leukemia so these are the three different types of the cancers based on where they have originated first one is carcinoma second one is sarcoma and third one is leukemia or blood cancer now how to detect or how to diagnose that a person is suffering from a cancer that is in the previous video i have told you that symptoms are being shown by the body if those symptoms are being present or they are significant then thereafter a person can go for the diagnosis as well as the detection of the cancers thereby he or she can uh, confirm whether he or she is really suffering from cancer or not okay so i have a list of uh, the diagnostic test for the cancer for example for the first one is uh, leukemia as i said the leukemia for that the bone marrow biopsy is being taken and it is being analyzed whether the bone marrow is being having the cells which are known to cause the cancer so that can be done for leukemia okay thereafter is uh, for the cervical cancer there is a pap test or it is also called as a pap smear test so here in this uh, cervical cancer it is mainly uh, known this pap smear test is mainly uh, known to uh, detect the presence of the cancer in that of the cervix region of uh, the female reproductive system thereafter is a ct scan computed tomography scan is being commonly done okay nowadays for various of uh, the disorders for example if a person is suffering from bone fracture for that also ct scan is done for detecting the corona so ct scan is being done similarly to detect the cancer also ct scan can be uh, helpful where it uh, shows 
the 3D view of the internal organs and if and uh, any of the organs are being affected with that of a tumor, so that can be easily diagnosed by the CT scan. Next is MRI scan, that is Magnetic Resonance Imaging Scan, where generally in this scan, there is usage of the strong magnetic fields and along with that non-ionizing radiations are being used and by which the internal uh, presence of the tumor inside the body can be analyzed. So that is MRI scan which can be also done whenever a person is having a, a ligament tear problem also. In that also this MRI scan can be used. Similarly, we have antibody test because whenever a cancer cell is being formed, so the immune system may even produce antibody against it. So based on that also, we can uh, identify whether a person is suffering from cancer or not. Thereafter is endoscopy, where a thin tube which consists of a camera, so that is being introduced into the elementary canal. So that methodology is what we call endoscopy where if a person is having a stomach cancer or gastric uh, uh, cancer, so to identify that, we use endoscopy. Similarly, that is what we call the device which is used to identify, okay, the method where to identify the stomach cancer that is called as gastroscope, which is a type of endoscope. Similarly, we have laparoscope even to determine the cancer inside the body. Similarly, we have mammography. Mammography is an another detection or diagnostic test which is being confined to testing the tumors present on the breast. Similarly, ultrasound. Ultrasound uh, test can be also done for detecting various types of the cancer which also includes uh, the breast. So these are some of the diagnostic tests to detect whether the person is having tumor, okay, generally as I told you, a tumor can be benign or malignant. Malignant are those which are known to be cancerous. So to detect those malignant cancers, I mean tumors, we can use any of these uh, diagnostic tests based on which part of the body is having the tumor, okay. So that is diagnostic test. Now once the diagnosis is being done. Once it has been confirmed that a person is having a cancer, then what has to be done? So it has to be the treatment. Okay. Treatment of the cancer can be done or else home remedies generally are there where we generally use uh, like uh, anti-carcinogens are there. So these anti-carcinogens, for example, uh, having much of uh, vitamin C, so that is known to act as an anti uh, cancer causing agent, okay, anti carcinogen that is vitamin C. Thereafter, eating leafy vegetables like that, we have various of the home remedies by which we can prevent the growth of the cancer in the body. But apart from that, if a person is being suspected that he or she is having cancer, then here in the earlier stages, they have to go for the treatment of the cancer, which includes. The surgery. The first one is where that entire tumor is to be removed. Okay, so that is surgery can be done or else radiation therapy. In this therapy, radioactive elements such as radon or it may be cobalt or iodine. So these radioactive isotopes or elements are being used, and by using these, these radiations are made to fall on that particular cancerous tumor and that is a reason where we can kill the cancerous cells. So that is radiation therapy. The next one which is very common is being uh, used by various of the people that is called as chemotherapy. So chemotherapy generally uses the various of the chemicals whereas one such chemical which is being used nowadays is called as taxol. So this taxol is an anti-cancer drug which is being extracted from Texas Bacacha or else we have vincristine and vinblastin. So these are the two chemicals which has been which have been extracted from Cataranthus roseus 
or vinca rosea so these also are known to have very promising results to kill the cancerous cell in the body so here either it can be used individually or after the surgery the chemotherapy is being uh, used so in the combination it can be used apart from that immunotherapy immunotherapy is where we are using we are making the immune system to boost up and to kill the cancer cells where we generally use these biological response modifiers which are called as alpha interferons these alpha interferons protects the normal cells against the invading of the cancer cell or else these alpha interferons will make the cancer tumor to get uh, completely shrinked so basically in the immunotherapy we are making the immune system to boost up and to kill the cancer cell that is by inducing the alpha interferons that is immunotherapy and the last one we have is uh, gene therapy so in the gene therapy we use a gene which is being commonly used that is called as tumor necrosis factor so this tumor necrosis factor also is known to okay shrink the entire cancer tumor or the cancerous cells thereby we can have a control as well as to we will get rid of the cancer this these are the five main types of the treatments which are being given to the cancer patients at the earlier stage okay of the cancer so apart from this there are various of uh, the treatments which are being given but these are the five which are being mentioned in that of the ncrt so this is all about uh, today's video where we have discussed the types of cancer carcinoma sarcoma and leukemia the various of the diagnostic tests known to identify the cancer and thereafter once a person is being suspected that he or she is having cancer then there are various of the treatments to uh, heal up the individual by using surgery or radiation therapy chemotherapy immunotherapy or gene therapy thank you